Alright guys, we're back here for the third video of our tutorial series. And this one is going to be about ores. So, one of the nice things in GT6 is sand ores. There are also gravel ores, which makes beaches and gravel mountains, deserts, very useful in the beginning. Because you can find these small ores and they will give you either a crushed or impure dust form of the material that is contained within and then you also have actual ores so this is a kesterite cassiterite stantonite huebnerite vein uh, this is basically a tin vein uh, Huebnerite is a form of tungsten. Stantonite and Kesterite are forms of copper, very poor amounts of copper. And then Cassiterite is a great way of getting tin. Also, in GT6, you can use most anything that is considered coal as torch material. So, like this crushed coal here, we can use to make torches. Uh, impure coal dust you can use to make torches. Uh, if you find a coal-bearing rock, when you're picking up rocks, this is a cassiterite rock. Um, if we were on a uh, coal area, you would have a coal bearing rock. Those can also be used for torches. Now you'll notice I have galena and silver bearing rocks, but the closest vein is that one there, which is Kesterite. And there's another vein over there, but that one is looks like bauxite. So that means that we should have a lead or galena vein somewhere close by. Uh, five by five chunks centered on where you found the rocks. So there's a good chance that it is right below us. It could be over there or back in that direction there. And we will check that out later see if we can find it galena is something we're going to need very soon for our first burning box uh, you can use these you'll see it says uh, contains material 0 0.250 galena so you can actually use these in a crucible uh, to get lead from now, for anybody that doesn't know, you want to hit F3 and H on your keyboard, and that will bring up extra tooltips for when you are looking at materials and give you that information. So, rock salt. Now, another thing that has changed with GT6 here is clay. And you'll notice that we have this bit of clay here under the grass. Let's look and see if this is one of them. Yeah, this might just be regular river spawning clay here. Um, clay and black sand are things that have changed a bit. Black sand was added here very recently. It's basically magnetite. Magnetite veins are no longer. And clay now can spawn in large abundances under the grass. It is completely separate from the ore vein. So is the black sand. 
And you can usually see it, like, on the side of hills and things. You can kind of see it sometimes poking out. Uh, some people actually like to use creepers to uh, prospect. There you go. Right there is what we're looking for. This is a area of clay. So almost all of this is going to be clay. You will never need clay again. There will be tons of it right underneath here. Uh, Greg did add a brown clay as well that will spawn in the same way. This just happens to be a regular gray clay. And you'll see it's just normal clay. Gives you four clay balls. Nothing special. Just butt tons of it. And they will spawn about five deep, if memory serves. Um, the black sand, which is a great way of getting iron, usually will spawn in rivers. I'm not seeing any right now. We have some over by spawn, uh, but I'm a Good little bit away from spawn right now. Let's see if I can find some here quickly before it gets too nasty out here. Since it is nighttime. And yeah, I am not seeing any. And that's a witch. We do not want to go that way. bit. Alright, so I am going to go run my butt back through this woods here and try to not die. That is your uh, discussion of ores and ore veins. Hopefully that's enough information for you for today. And we will see you next time. Later.